Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and remember how the last time we were out here on this map in the Chevy K30, we came out to do some cargo hauling and ended up doing all vehicle recoveries? Yeah, I have come prepared for that this time. I have equipped the IX3880 with everything it needs to recover whatever we might find, because apparently there's a lot more vehicle recovery tasks on this map than I thought there even remotely could be. So, we're not going to spend any more time in this driveway. We're going to fire this truck up, we're going to get out into the wilderness, and we're going to see what we can find when it comes to vehicle recovery jobs. Now, like I said before, this should be able to recover... Heck, absolutely anything that we come across. And if I remember correctly, there are some recovery tasks out in the swamp where you have to recover some pretty hefty vehicles. So that's the direction we're going to head in. And uh, of course, we have beans with us. And we're going to see what kind, of, uh, what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. And also, what is that? An uh, airplane black box. That's not exactly what we're looking for, I don't think. However... Let's see. Stuck in the swamp task, and that's a big truck right there. So, right off the bat, there's one that we can definitely do. I have no idea where we have to deliver that truck to, or, like, what route we're going to use to get there. But I have a feeling that with this, it won't necessarily matter where we have to take it, because it'll just get it there, regardless. We won't have to worry about anything. And it should be a, um, should be a decently fun job as well. So, as we're on our way out there, I, I don't know why I keep driving through the trailer store every time I go this way, but I think it's just becoming force of habit at this point because I'm used to going straight over the first bridge instead of turning left and then making the right to go over the other bridge. But regardless, it doesn't seem like it's a bad way to go. Holy cow, okay, it did not like going up that hill. It did not like going up that hill. Now, this is the first time I've, I'm trying out these tires. And I don't really have an opinion on them yet, but I'm sure I'll have an opinion on them after this particular video. So let's go ahead and make this left and head down towards the swamp. And heading down towards this swamp, I mean, you definitely find, you definitely see right off the bat that you're getting into some rougher terrain. But thankfully also, if we have to deal with anything, I also have a active suspension that we can raise if need be. But for now, I'm going to run it in the standard height, not the raised height, but we're going to bump it up to the raised height, like I said, if we absolutely need to. So, diff lock obviously changes this a ton, so you can see we were starting to get stuck back there, and then I turned diff lock on, low plus, and we just like yeet, like just literally yeeted our way right on out of it. So, every time I drive past that cliff, it's always like just mind-blowing the view that you have. All right, so we got some bridge building going on down here, but we're actually going to make our way off to the right because that's where our recovery task should be. So let's see here. That, yep, stuck in the swamp. Here we go. Now, it's not that. That's just kind of, that's just kind of like a little cutout. This is the actual right-hand turn. So let's go ahead and throw all the lockers on because we're going to need them. Oh yeah, I can already tell you that I am very, very happy we decided to bring this. Especially if the truck we're going to be recovering is big. And oh, it is! What are you? Are you like a Pacific? No. I know what that is. I just can't name it off the top of my head from, like, from seeing it from behind. But I'm sure that I'll know exactly what it is once we actually get up to it and see it from the front. Huh. Whoa. Oh, I know what that is. That's the Snowrunner version of the Oshkosh. Let's see. I was on my way to the new factory located in the northwest of the island, but I ventured too far from the road and got stuck here. The engine is flooded. Can you tow me to the refinery? Absolutely. All right. Dairy Longhorn 3194. Just couldn't think of the in-game name uh, off the top of my head. But, all right, we got to get up to the refinery, which means venturing our way through this swamp without building the bridges. So, let's see. I'll probably just follow that standard route right there, and what I'll do is I'll kind of pull the front end of that truck around to where I want it, and then it'll just be a standard tow job, like, all the way there. Alright, let's get just a little bit further up ahead, and then 
also. I'm gonna active I'm gonna go ahead and activate my active suspension because I have a feeling I'm gonna want it out here. Here we go. Alright. Rotator time. Got that. Pull you this way just a little bit. Won't need to do too much like actual rotation, but lift that up just a tiny bit, tiny bit. There we go. All right, so now that should be okay for us to go ahead and start moving. And by the way, oh my God, like when you're doing these recoveries, they look so good. Like it's such a cool thing to look at, you know? I love like some of the, whoa! I love it so much, I apparently forgot I was in reverse, but no, it's all right. Apparently it's, uh, it's not flooded to the point where it can't run. Whoa, we're stuck on that, like, root, that tree root. Doesn't want to go past the tree root. What the heck? That's not usual for this truck. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to have to lower that a little bit. That was a lot higher than I expected it would be. There, I'm going to leave it, leave it just about there. That should balance everything out just a little bit better. And God, it's still pretty high up off the ground. But that's all right. We'll be okay. I'm sure we can make our way through the swamp. No problem with this setup. I mean, it's a very capable setup, so it's not like we're necessarily having to worry about the setup's capability. We're more having to just think about the lines that we take and, you know, where we position ourselves. Oh, God! You know, I really thought you were going to be able to get around that tree. I really thought you were, but I guess our steer axle is too heavily unloaded. But just a little bit of reverse action and we're fine, but it's a little bit frustrating when you do get into scenarios like that. These tires are doing well for me. I have no complaints about the tires for sure, but I will say I am very happy I went with the active suspension. Now, these were not the biggest tires I could fit. Technically, I could fit a 49. These are 46s, but I also felt that for a more, uh, more evenly balanced gameplay experience, I decided to go with the 46s. And I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not mad about my decision to go that route. That's a little, again, unbalanced with the unbalanced with all the weight over the rear that steer axle uh can be a little bit a little bit like i won't say fully like out to lunch sometimes but not far off occasionally i'm just kind of hoping and praying i'm going the right way through this swamp i mean i can see tire tracks but there's also tire tracks over there so he kind of does that i'm sure to confuse you and get you turned around backwards but, you know, the more you go through here... Oh, I didn't even realize my, my rotator was turned a little bit. Let me actually... Kind of move that back. I didn't realize it was turned. Yeah, I didn't realize it was turned. I kind of was hoping to keep it centered up. Alright, we got a little bit of deep mud to deal with here. Whoa! The entire front end just sank! Yeesh! That's wild! That's so freaking cool, though. So freaking cool. I'm running in just standard low right now. I don't even want to risk low plus because I don't want to risk it digging. Let's see if I can... Oh, it won't dig from there. It actually... Wow. Just laid the power to it and, like, gave it the beans and it went. Now, keep in mind, I've also never been to this refinery before. So, this is not only a recovery, but it's also, like, full-on map discovery and map exploration. There's still so much of this map that I haven't seen yet, and a lot of it I'm sure you will see through the tasks. Because the tasks give you a reason to go places. I mean, you know, regardless of what you're doing, the tasks give you that reason to go there. Now... Granted, if it's like a crawling trail, you don't necessarily need a task to give you a reason to go. I mean, exploration is reason enough. But with something like this, I probably would not have visited the refinery unless I was doing this task. Now, I don't know if there'll be a... Oh, there's an unbuilt bridge up ahead. We're definitely going to have to find a way around that. But thankfully, it looks like the swamp isn't all that deep. So it looks like Beans and I can find our way around. Yep, tell you what. Easy. Oh, yeah. No, we could do this. If you have a truck that's capable enough in the mud, you'll be fine. This swamp has, like, a lot of bridge building to do, though. Like, a lot of bridge building. I have to, like, wedge myself between the trees to get out of here. Well, I'm not actually going to risk that. I'm actually going to do this. 
because I have a feeling that it might be a little bit more... Like, we might have a little bit more success doing it this way. Oh, God. I didn't realize it was going to get that mad at me. Okay. It got really upset with me for doing that, so we're not doing that again. Yeah, we're just going to go straight. It was like, dude, it was like, screw your suspension. And I'm like, okay. Like, okay, let's not. Oh, boy. No way. It evened out ever so slightly. Oh, my God. All right. Dude, this thing is a lot more capable than I thought it was originally. All right, so, yeah, we're just down the way from it. Just down the way from the refinery. Let's get this Longhorn dropped off. And hopefully, we'll be on our way to yet another successful tow job. Oh, 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 oh. I was going to say, I was going to go into high, but I was like, eh, I keep it a low plus. I don't want to risk stalling going up the hill. I mean, we were so, we were like, I was that close to just letting the clutch out in the next gear. And I was like, eh, it probably won't like it. And it probably won't like me either. So we'll, we'll just kind of keep it steady. Well, actually, you know what? I'm sure it'll take high range now. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. Honestly, though, I, I'm really impressed with these tires. I'm surprised I haven't used them before. Let's actually, now that we're out of the swamp, we can go ahead and lower that suspension back down to more of like what I would call drive height rather than off-road height. I love how it didn't even make me take it out of high. It was just like, nah, I got all the torque. You're good. I mean, now, of course, that was also due to the fact that we had a little bit of momentum on our side. But, man, like, the, the amount of torque that this thing has underneath it, oh, it goes. This is sick. Look at this refinery. Wow, that's, that's a really well done set piece. Like, a really well done set piece. Well, you can have your Dairy Longhorn back. Because here we are out here at the refinery. My God. I got to get a better look at this. Like, wow. Wow, what a cool look this is. Delivering something like this to a place like this. Oh, my God. Dude, I got to have a look at this in free cam. Like, this is, this is the coolest freaking thing. Oh, my God. And, like, oh, dude. Two gigantic trucks plus a refinery in the background. Like, this right here is... This right here, I feel like, is why... Is one of the reasons, anyway. One of the many reasons why we play SnowRunner. Like, for me, like, there's no other game that gives you the opportunity to play with, like, giant trucks like this in environments like this. Like, you just don't get a experience like that anywhere else and frankly frankly like i really don't think there's any other game that could give you this experience i i really don't think that there's any other game that could give you this experience and like <laughs> i'm super happy to be able to share that experience with you guys like wow all right let's go ahead and get back in the truck and finish off this recovery because our objective, like I said, is right there. We're rolling a bunch of coal, literally, like, right when we started off. And boom! You have been promoted. Thanks for the lift. I'll wait for the engine to dry, to dry out and go back to work afterwards. All right, man. Well, tell you what. This is an absolutely awesome area of the map. And this watch point right here needs to be explored. And you know what? Normally, I would be like, and that's, you know, we've, we've accomplished our objective. And that's where we're going to, you know... That's where we're gonna uh, we're gonna chill, but we're gonna actually go and uh, go and unlock that watchtower because it's right there. I mean, it's literally right there. We have a very capable rig. We might as well go like give it a look and see what we can do. All right, so let me make my way down. Not quite downtown because there ain't a downtown around here. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Beans and I have looked, but no downtown around here for us. I'm just gonna, just gonna break trail a little bit. 
No worries. I'm not even on high suspension mode. I just want to run across the road real quick and unlock this watchtower. All part of the game, you know what I mean? All part of the game. Easy. Yeah, throw that diff lock on. Diff lock and low plus is literally like... That's like the go anywhere button for this truck. Alright, North Road Block discovered and Northwood Bridge Part 4 discovered. Holy cow. Let's see what this looks like. Gives you a little bit of a view of... Ooh, another swap. Whoa! Oh my god, there's something for us to build out there. But that is definitely something that we'll be taking a look at in a future episode. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the recovery and would like to see more recoveries, let me know about that as well. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.